Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Mount sorry, Battle Brothers. We've just taken a contract to basically escort a caravan, I believe, from it was here, or maybe no, it was from Ten Willow. We were escorting a caravan from Ten Willow all the way down to here. So, so let's kick off, shall we? Uh, we've got some bandits, some brigands, and some marksmen. course. So not like I've got shields on or anything of like that. Are they going to come forward? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. I might just, just switch out my guys at this point. I'll fire off one set of arrows. Let's see, like, kill him. If we can hit, because apparently none of my guys can hit. Uh, there's some times in this game, I love this game to bits, but there are times when it's literally like pulling teeth. What is your malfunction? Okay, let's switch his weapon out. This is going to be a pain. I don't want him to fight the guy at the pick because it's going to be an absolute murder show. So, of course he misses because I don't have any luck. Hmm. Put him here. Body blow. Crack his arm. Open his armor a bit. That guy with the. Put the plug there, so we want to basically put him here. Okay, he can't actually shield up. That's going to be a pain. Hold off. Decapitation, what's that looking like? 45%. Oh, come on! So frustrates me. Six percent chance to hit. Well, at least we actually hit him, which is nice. Try and stab someone. 57, 57. He's got weaker armor, so let's gouge him open. Blood flying everywhere. The problem is they got l they got so many archers, and they're all like really high grade archers as well, which is going to be a pain. Ouch! That hurt. He's bleeding. Let's stab at him. We killed him, which is the important thing. Get out the bill hook. I can't move him yet. Oh, seriously, you destroy my gear. Push him up here. He's got not that much health, but he's got good armor, so I'm hoping he's got a hold. That blocked. Crack him open. Slashed open his arm. 
missed. I don't want him in combat with him, so I'm going to shove him back and jump up. We'll focus slashing this guy wide open. We'll kill him and push him up to protect the guy who's injured. I need to be getting some better equipment. I've just got this feeling that I need to be getting better equipment. No, stop! Oh, this is the problem I'm finding, is that the stupid AI is jumping into all my spaces. Curse it all! Why did you move their caravan hand? Now I physically can't do anything. Gonna try and slash me. Move him up here. Of course, he misses. Cut into his arm. Let's try shield bashing this guy back. We'll jump up here and give ourselves some room. Yeah, okay. That's not great. Crack a rib. Kill him. Jump there. Let's just waste this. He needs to fall back. Oh God, these caravan hands, they're, they're doing nothing but causing me trouble. He needs to fall back as far as he can go. I've obviously got so many poachers, so many archer, uh, so many, so many sharp shooters. I do really think that they need to allow you to have more than 12 people in your party. The problem is that the enemy AI, the enemy AI can have like 20, 30 people in a party now and if you only have 12 you're never going to have enough of anything to deal with big parties. Okay. Ripped open his knee. There's blood flying over the corner caused him to bleed. Let's... Who do you want to kill? If we kill him... Yeah, there we go. Oh, they killed Tizar. Tizar. That sucks. Bit of a pain. I'm going to send someone charging straight for the archers. I need them gone. You can gang up on this bloke. You can keep falling back. Jump there. His, it's a yeah. He's broken now, so we can um, leave the pull axeman. We can jump him forward to deal with the archers. I don't know. I think they need to fix the caravan crew because they're pretty much useless at this point. Right, get him here. Everyone up can so everyone can else can move up and literally just finish off this bloke. Oh, seriously. get so annoyed when it's like, oh... Okay. Oh, 
Okay, just gouge him in the face. Go on, do it, Hawk. Hawk can just stand and just gouge the man in the face. Ripping out. And we can't hit him, of course. I really think if they're fleeing, they shouldn't be allowed to block. Because if you're trying to flee, it's not like you're going to be, like, guarding yourself or anything. Get him here. Hopefully he can last, because his armor's looking a bit worse for wear. Hold on one second, there's someone at the door. Sorry about that, folks. There was someone at the door. Right, let's rush up and try and help him. The problem is, even at this level of the game, like, their archers are, like, are really tough. I, f I don't know, it's like... I was reading about, like, the, the statistics of, of um, the enemies, like, when you get to middle age game. Oh, seriously! Now I'm gonna have to rush someone up to help him, because obviously he looks like he's about to literally fall over and die now. He can't do anything. Sort of brought dogs. That's something I need to invest in, obviously, is dogs. He's still up, but his stamina's terrible. Get him here. Graze his neck and, like, blood flies everywhere, so he's gonna be bleeding this turn. We missed. Hopefully, with the amount of people that are jumping and I don't why aren't, why isn't their morale not breaking? Uh, it's a pain. Oh, seriously. Send someone to deal with him. So many of my people are being hurt because of this. And we're on a caravan job, which is worse. Cross this windpipe. Kill him make his morale drop. He needs to fall back as far as he can, because he's in a really bad state. We missed that, which was frustrating. We lost one of the new guys. It's a bit of a pain, but I'll, I can always grab someone and then basically give them the XP boost. He should be fleeing about now. He missed. He missed. It's obviously my dice rolls are so look, let's see. Eighty percent chance. Okay, okay, that hit, that's nice to see. I feel like I can land an eighty percent chance. Sixty three percent. Slashed his stomach open, exposed on his ribs and blood flying everywhere. And we just beat him to death. We just cleave him in half. Uh, that sucks so badly. Yeah, Tizar. It's not Tizar, it's Tirizar. Tirizar is dead, which is a pain. Yeah, because I didn't get his gear back, his armor back either. I got some stuff, which is nice. Let's see. Saint the Fearless is still up. God, those are some bad stat rolls. Okay. Let's give him that. Um, whenever you whenever attack hit or miss again with an, every attack hit or miss against an opponent that acts after you in your current round, inflict the overwhelm status effect, which lowers both melee and range skill by ten percent for one turn. That's not bad. Um, I think I might go with. 
cleave Bleeding effects, yeah that's a nice one for the have to that. The Fuax is literally just bleeding from every possible wound at this point. So he basically needs that because that's really useful one to have. He needs to switch out. Who did we lose? Vizar is sad. Tsar died in battle, so he's basically missing his brother. Mr. Panda's down there as well. So, Mr. Panda, you can have that. And a shield. And move up to join the rank. You need to basically be taken out of the field, Mr. Baba, because you're literally looking like someone came up to you and beat you around the face. Your helmet got done in, which is a pain, so I'm going to give you that one. Actually, no, your helmet's not done in, it's just damaged. Okay. Um, but you need to be taken out of the line. He's hurt. I need to get better crossbow for him. To be honest though, I got another longbow, so I might just have them both with longbows at the moment until I can get better better equipment. How's he looking? He's looking okay. I'm not happy with this because I don't have enough people to put them into the lineup, but come on, keep going, keep going. What's taking so long? Move, move, move. I don't like that pause. I do not like that pause after um, combat with caravan escorts. You come to an old man standing in the middle of the road. His body's leaning against a walking stick. He stares up at the road, side six his head. I know there's a sign here. I think Carl... Clark Carvel is that way, if I recall correctly. He turns with a grin, his eyes glinting white, blind by old age. A very nice, very expensive looking ring. Now, I'm not. Like, who robs blind old men? Really? I mean, okay, bandits would and more amoral mercenaries, but. Okay. It's going to take us a while, and our it's going to eat for our tools, which is the thing which is the most painful. We lost one of the brothers, which is a pain, because they were a nice little backstory given to us by one of our viewers. Um, on that note, I've got a new series starting today, um, Unexplored, a nice little roguelike um, dungeon crawler, which is a really, it's really, really pleasant, and there's something nasty down there. Um, so if if you like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking the, taking the um, names from my party list, that I have for this game and applying it to the characters in that. So if you want to see the continued adventures of your people in that, um, tune in. It's really good. You made it having delivered the cargo just just like you, just as you promised. Erdwood Wise. The caravan leader thanks you. Payment of crowns. He seems rather thankful. Fact that his life briefly regaling you the tale of when he barely escaped an ambush by Brigand. You nod as if you give two sits about what's happened to this man. Because I really don't. Because we've lost, we lost some really good people. Oh, uh, we, mm, we lost one of the brothers, which is a pain. How's tools looking down here? Uh, not too bad. They didn't have much of many of them, though, which is the problem. Um, need to hire someone really. He needs to be decent. Hound's master. Ooh, comes with a dog. That might be useful. Farm hand. Let's hire him. Let's see what we get. Brute. He's not great, to be honest. But at the moment, I just need someone who can stand in the line. So, you're going to get that. That. I mean, his stamina is good, which is a really nice thing. His injuries put him out of action for a while, to be honest, so I'm going to give him that. He can have that. He can jump into the line there. So what should we call you? I don't want to use the brother's names again. I don't know. What, what, what do you guys think? Would they be unhappy if someone basically came along claiming to be another one? Or maybe he's someone who looks like another one. Who like, like, my brother has been reincarnated.
Tu sais, genre. Or maybe he's just like, he was never dead, he just pretended to be dead and just caught back up with us. A second. I need to be getting better shields. I can't really be re relying on round shields anymore. They need to have proper shields. Okay. Armor. Well, I'm going to grab that because I need to get some better shielding. That was such a loss. That, um. Lamelel. Lam. La Lamela. Lamela. Sorry, Lamela. I keep calling it Lamelel for some, for some reason, which is a pain. Because that was really good armor and a. And it was really nasty to lose it. He's out of action for a while. I might sell some gear. Because I really, really need some money. Okay, so what can we sell? Sell some of the shields. Sell those. Sell that. Um, Legionnaire helmet is nice, but it has like a massive... Sell some of the smaller helmets, perhaps. Sell that. Sell the javelin. I don't need so many sets of like arrows and stuff. Sell some more of the shields. So I need to buy some more armor, really. I need to get some decent gear. I know it's massively expensive. But my guys are really needing upgrades to their armour. He can have that. He can have that. Money situation isn't great. I probably need to get another job soon. Alright, where are we gonna go? That's the question. Let's try down at Ottendorf. We'll speed up time. It'll take us another f f f basically one to four days before everyone is healed back up, which is a pain. Our tool situation is alright. Go here and camp. No, um, Unexplored is a nice little top-down dungeon crawling um, RPG. So I'll I'm got I have that coming to this afternoon at six o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. Let's see what they have. Missing people. Everything's gonna be much more expensive. What's missing people? I thought you might fetch your attention, Fullbird, the merchant said. We should keep looking for a man of your vocation. If you're looking for work, he's the man to go to. You asked if, if the figurehead if this figurehead pays well, the man nods. Yep. He gave me this here loot. Okay, it's this uh, This purse is placed cursed by the gods and haunted by an earthly beast. They come in the night and with glowing red eyes and take lies at their whim. Most of our cattle is dead and I fear once there is no more win they'll be next to be torn apart. The other day we sent the strongest lads to go and find and kill the beast, but they haven't heard of them since. He sighs deeply. Follow the tracks and hunt them down. Okay. How much are you going to pay? You need to be paid more for this. I don't think you can understand right here. Right here. It's either going to be beasts. This is going to be the problem. It's either going to be beasts, um, like direwolves, people pretending to be direwolves, or man-eating monsters. Those and Nagasarks, or whatever they are. Oh, they came all they went all the way around here. Really? Can oh no, it's just dire wolves. Okay. Let's take them. Okay, that's not good. Okay, they're going to try and flank us, which is a pain. Um, let's shoot this one at point blank range. Get rid of its armor. Let's shoot this one at point blank range. I'm 
like gouge a hole in its face, stab it, missed, that's a pain. Get him up on here on the high ground. Nah, because it'll go out in this direction. Let's go... Swing your weapon in the wide arc, but it hits three adjacent tiles and the clockwork. Okay, now let's just go with a normal hit. Finish that one off. Nicely done, Tazar the second. Let's focus on this one here. Gouge into its front, one of its front legs. Its body armor's gone, so it's with a pound on it. Pound on it like fresh meat. Shield wall. He's broken, let's try and hit this one. Mess, that's not great. Just stab it. Gouged it in the face. Keep missing is not fantastic for me. Come on, chaps. Decapitation, that's nice. Spear wall. Oh, that's not great. Get back, beastie. Pierced its front wall. Made it break. It's going to try and flee. Is this one going to. F no, that's not. Going to go for a bite on him. Right, aim shot. Killed it. Stab this one. Nicely done. Move here and we'll just do a pack point blank shot. You can shoot over your people's shoulders if they're right standing right behind you. Remove all its armor. We'll focus down this one. Oh, maybe this one actually. You have a slightly higher percentage to hit it. Gouged into its chest, ripping open like fur and exposing ribs. Broke, yeah, broke its elbow. Just keep on, just keep on stabbing it. We'll jump here. Go here, help with this one. Cut it wide open. It will begin to bleed thoroughly now. Uh, just start pounding on them, crushing thumbs and bruising organs. Pierced its shoulder. It's still going to put up a fight, is it? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Lilydorf, hold on. Save Little Dorf. Kill the beast. No, you fools. Break its morale. If nothing else, we will just break its morale. There we go. Oh, that was bad. down. Uh, point blank shot it. Missed, that's not great. Swing for it. He got so close to dying there, I'm really annoyed by that. Having killed the foul creatures, you begin skinning and scalping for them. Gruesome creatures require gruesome evidence. Your employer, full the merchant, may not believe your work otherwise. Let's quickly rush back to drop off the, re the reward. What a proof. He's absolutely suffered injuries. What's your defense like? Oh, his defense is pretty bad, to be honest. Get him up. Mr. Panda leveled up. Get that up, get that up, get that up. 
Colossus, give him some more health, and means he won't get less injuries. That's going to eat into our tool supply, that's the thing that really hurts though. Oh, I see you killed the beast, That might that's a mighty fine pelt you've got there, Furbo the merchant takes a few, a, few back steps, a few steps back after saying this. You drop what you brought, a thick heavy mane of beastly origin collapsed into a pile of fur and flesh. The man, almost too scared to get close, tosses you a satchel. 500 crowds is agreed upon. I will, get, I will go to the people and tell them that you have success. Finally, we can have peace. Tools are still really expensive. What's he giving for the pelts? Worth 200 and he's giving me 31. No. We'll hold on to them for a moment. We've got a shield there. Who needs a shield? He can have it. He's out of action for a long time, so he can switch out his... He can have that. I mean, we have some injuries. The Fuax is healing up. It's not great, but uh, I can. We can deal with it. We can deal with this. I definitely think we're suffering from the curse of when I missed that out. Missed out on all that really good gear earlier on because I didn't have the auto loop functioning, auto pickup loop function functioning, which was a pain. But that can't be helped. I need to start giving my two-handed people better weapons, it's starting to show. Um, oh well, that's for next time. I've been Cornish Knight, if you have liked, please press the like button, if you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button, or leave a comment in the comment section below if you want a character included in the run. As I have said, I've got a new series starting today, Unexplored. Um, why don't you all go and check that out, it's going to be really good, it's going to drop around 6 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time, I shall see you all then, goodbye.